Now the today topic is a resistance. So how to define resistance of conductor? Suppose that this is a conductor you have, and this conductor of flowing current <coughs> in this way. Given length of this conductor is L, area of the cross section is A, and resistivity of the material is a rho. So you can say R equal to R is directly proportional to the length, okay? Inversely proportional to the area. So you can write R equal to constant here L by A. So this you have basic formula for resistance of the conductor, where this is a called constant and this is called resistivity. This depend on the material as well as the temperature. As you know, the relation between the conduct conductivity and resistivity is a reciprocal. Same we can write G conductance is a 1 by resistance. Okay. So now we have basic formula for the resistance is R equal to rho L by A. Okay. So there are three type of question they will ask related to this. Okay. So the first question they will ask if you increase the length of conductor by some factor, find the new resistance. So think about if you stretch or compress, okay, the question now the first part is a increasing length, increasing length by stretching is a very important stretching or compression symmetry. So suppose that if you have a R, R of original R not I am writing. So is a given area is a, a length is a given L. Okay. So you can write a material is given. So the resistivity you have into L by A. Okay. So when I increase the length by n times, okay. So if you increase the length of the cylinder, so this length will be n times of L. Okay. So of course area is going to change. So only one parameter is a constant. What is the parameter? That is a called volume because we are not going to change density during the stretching and compression. So volume will be constant. So do one thing, just simplify this formula like rho L by A, multiply both sides length, here length, length. So see this formula becomes now rho L A square by volume. Okay. So you should apply if you have a stretching and compression, you apply formula rho L A square by V. Suppose that sometime they have given about the information about the density. So then what you have to do? You just write formula rho r equal to distributivity, sorry, length by area. Multiply both sides, area and here area. So now you can see this is the volume by area square. Okay. So when information given for area, go for this formula. And if you have given for the length, you go for this formula. So first you have a stretching, compression and the third part is a, suppose that if you have a one conductor is here okay, and now we are going to join the another conductor with the same material. Okay. So now in this case area of cross section area is the same, length is simply increase by 2 times. So suppose then what you have to do R1 plus R2 simply you have to have. So resistivity and length will be 2A and area will be A. So you can write here 2R if the R is the any one of this. Okay. So now three type question they will ask. I'm going to take question here first. Consider a conductor have area A and length L as so in figure. Find the percentage change in resistance if length of conductor is a double by a stretching. That is a very important point. So question in question should be given a stretching compression or simply add by another conductor. So <coughs> for this question what you have to do? just write R naught, so original, this will be resistivity of the material and length L and area A. But I said which formula you should apply for a stretching, you can see here, for a stretching always you have to apply formula for rho L square by V because length is a given here, so this formula we should use. So you can write here rho L square by volume, this is the first equation. Now what about the R1, like a R nu? So rho length is a 2L, 2L square by volume will be same. So just find the 
if suppose this is R naught, so this will be 4 R naught because this is a 4 L square by V. So, you can write 4 R naught. So, what is the percentage change, percentage change in R that you can write delta R by R naught into 100. So, this is a 4 R naught minus R naught by initial is R naught multiplied by 100. So, this will be 300 percent. Okay. So, sometime they will ask by S, by compression. Okay. So, suppose that in the same, I am just same question, instead of double, I am going to half, suppose the length becomes half, then how to solve this? So, now we have originally this, okay, L and A is a given, length is a given. Now, you are compressing by this, length is a now L by 2, okay. Now, this length is a L by 2, of course, area is a, area will change based on the volume is a constant. So, which formula we should apply? We know R not equal to rho L square by volume. So, this is the initial, you have this. Now, what about this? So, R nu, this will be same material, L is now L by 2 a square by volume. So, the rho L a square by volume divided by 4. So, this will be R naught by 4. So, what is the delta R by R into 100? This is a percentage change in R. So, R naught minus, this is 3 R naught by 4 divided by R naught into 100. So, the 75 percent is going to change. Okay. Another type of question they will ask that is a not a stretching, not compression is simply going to add. Okay. So, if you have suppose that one question is a given length L cross section area A, take another one. Okay. Now, here you can make two question. If they are, if they are going to add like this. Okay. So, now here you can see R naught will be rho L by A and this one is a rho resistivity L becomes 2 L area will be exactly same, but if you suppose that add in this way like this you are going to add then length will be same and area becomes double. So, what, how to write R nu? So, this R nu, nu is a material will be same length is exactly same, but area becomes double 2 A simply. Okay. So, 